Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a video invitation for an ugly sweater party using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Since it's the holidays, I thought today we would create a video invitation for an ugly sweater party. In this example here, I have a standard Doodly character and her arms were such that it worked out fine with this imported graphic that I found on one of the royalty free sites. So I will show you how to do that and then we'll also play around with just some stock characters and stock doodly props in case you don't want to deal with importing your own graphics. So let's start with this one. So I believe I found mine on Freepix so let's just type in ugly sweater. And here we go. Here's all kinds of ugly sweaters that you can use. Let's use this one. Now there are multiple sweaters here and some embellishments that we're not going to want, but that's okay. We'll use some editing tools to get rid of that stuff. Now to import my ugly sweaters, I want to go to props and I go to this little plus sign down here and I'm just going to drag and drop them in. Now I did resize them so that they're less than 1920 by 1080 in size because Doodly requires that. And this is one of the things I love about Doodly is that you can import your graphics. So now we can give this lady an ugly sweater, in this case an ugly vest. Or if we want the sweater, let's try that one. Oh yeah, I think that'll be cool. Now you're going to have to fiddle around with different character combinations because, you know, their arms might not work properly, so. Okay, so I've come to the conclusion <laughs> that this sweater is not going to work for too many of my characters. So that is one reason why I really like the vest option. Now you see the problem with this vest though is we see the back side. So I want to go back to my editing software and I'm just gonna do some editing of it. So let's go ahead and move that. So as you can see, I went ahead and did some editing to this image to make it work just a little bit better. I'm just gonna add our text here. So this is coming along fine. Let's add some more people. So let's go to characters. And this time, instead of importing our sweater, we're going to make our own using Doodly. So let's search under characters for the word sweater. And this will show us only characters wearing sweaters. So we have a few. We have Camila. And we have a couple as well that I kind of liked. Here, Noelle and Girlfriend Christmas, and I think that will be enough people. And let's decorate their sweaters. So, to decorate their sweaters, go over to props, and I typed in Xmas, and then we'll find various Christmas decor items. Now, a lot of these are in Doodly Enterprise, so you may be limited with depending on what you have. So, I'm gonna start with this little Christmas reindeer, and I'm gonna put him on Noel. And let's find something for his girlfriend. A gingerbread boy might be cute. And we're gonna to need to rotate the object here so that it works. That'll be fine. For our other lady, let's see what we have. A big Christmas tree. Fun. And we need some room for the time and date. So let's do something. Let's do a circle. And I'm just gonna put it here in the corner. Like that. There's no rule that says you have to use the whole circle, right? Just use a part of it if you want. And now I'm gonna do my text. I'm gonna say this. And to change the text color, because I didn't mention it earlier, 
you click the gear icon and then go to color and just change it. And if I zoom out a little bit to this circle, do the same here, I can change its color as well. I didn't make it green. That's about it. We've got the layout done. Now we just need to organize it. Let's take a quick preview because it's going to be kind of a mess. This part's okay, but it's taking a long time and join us for in what, you know, I need to get those words in sooner. And all of this stuff can come in sooner as well. And if you know me, I don't like the little finger erasing. Okay, so we have a little bit of work to do. Right now it's 31 seconds long, which is way too long. So let's get busy. First, let's go to settings down here in the lower left. And I'm gonna turn erase mode, smart mode off. And that will take care of that finger erasing. Then for the hand, I do like the sweater hand, but you know, it'd be better if it was like an ugly, ugly sweater. So we don't really have that option, but what we do have is cartoon hands and we have Santa. So I'm gonna choose Santa, click okay. Next, let's arrange this. What comes on first? Join us for an, then ugly sweater party that should all come in you know one after another i do think i'd like my man first so we see just a plain man no sweater then join us for an ugly sweater party and then his little ugly sweater appears and then we could have the people come on i think i'd rather have the date come on first before the other people so we move that and then we could have let's have Noel and his girlfriend first in their sweaters and then Camille in her sweater last and then at the very end we want some time before it disappears so go to scene settings and add I'm gonna do seven seconds to the end and wait a minute I just made it longer I was saying it's it was already 31 seconds and now I just made it you know 37 seconds well that's okay because I'm going to start taking time away from all this stuff. So my man, I'm going to start with him already on screen. So right there, that's minus three seconds. Then I'm going to have this stuff draw on. And I think that probably take a little longer. This can take less. This can take less. And this can take less. His sweater, I'm going to make it fade on. So I can get away with a really short duration on that. I'm going to say 0.75 or 0.8 seconds, I guess. This circle, well, I don't need three seconds of hand drawing, especially with most of that appearing up here. So let's change that to like half a second, maybe one second. This will probably be fine. And then our characters, they can be a lot shorter, two seconds. Maybe one second for each of these. Now let's, we'll do one and a half. And then Camille, she can be a lot shorter. And... Okay, so now it's just over 20 seconds and that includes my seven seconds here at the end. So that should be timing wise a lot better. Let's take a quick preview and see. Okay, I can adjust that. Okay, so that's all good. Um, my ma only thing is I wasn't real fond of how this timing worked, this beginning, the words. So let's look at that one more time. Join us for it. So that go needs to go faster. All of it can go faster. So this can be, let's say, 1.5, 2.5, 5, 5. And let's just see how that looks. 
yeah that's better and then he scribbled on the vest which remember I said I wanted to fade it so select the vest click this little pencil icon and here's where you control how the vest appears right now it's in the drawing reveal mode I'm going to change that to fade and now it just fades on if you were ambitious you could also do drawing paths and tell Doodly exactly how you want it to draw on the hand. I'm going to stick with the fade, save and return. And then you could add some music by going over to the sounds tab and either bringing in your own music or browsing through Doodly's music library. I'm just going to pretend that I like this one and I'm going to pull it down here. Here's my music track. I'm going to click this little speaker icon and turn it down just a little bit. And then over here, since it's too long, I'm going to shrink it down. And you can see there's like a, a big change here in the music. So, you know, maybe I want to shrink it down even further and fade it out. In which case, let's shorten my drawing on a couple of these things just a little bit and that should be okay and then I'm gonna stretch my fade over just a bit okay that's it let's take a final look and we will be done And there you have it. You know, I might change a few things here, but I think that should give you some ideas on some of the different ways that you can use Doodly, including using Doodly to create fun video invitations for holiday parties, such as an ugly sweater party. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching. Music